the post-millennial uh, position has erroneously exegeted Psalm 110, and they have a false interpretation of the timing of all of that and the dynamics of all of that, situating that in some sort of progressive, uh, sort of in intensive uh, kind of way leading up to the return of Christ, where through the church, um, Jesus is somehow putting all enemies under his feet. When I think it's very clear from the verse that you read here that he will do this at his coming. And so I believe that when uh, Paul quotes Psalm 110 here, he is not saying that we should expect uh, that the dynamic of the kingdom of God in this present evil age is going to be that the church should look out in expectation that all of the present enemies that we see here and now, one by one, will slowly begin to be toppled by the power of Christ through the church. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's called exaggerated eschatology, and that's ultimately motivated by an agenda for Reconstructionism, ultimately. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think it's false. And I think you have a commentary on this passage in Revelation chapter 20 before the great white throne judgment where John says in Revelation 20 uh, verses 14 and 15, right? Even as it says here, the last enemy to be abolished is death. <laughs> uh, and then notice in verse 27, he says, for he's put all things under his feet. <laughs> so he has put all things under his feet is demonstrated ultimately by Christ having the power to abolish death. Well, Revelation 20 tells us when all of this happens, it happens at the great parousia judgment of Christ, and it does not happen prior to that. Um, and and this is, um, I, I tell you what, Jeremiah, one of the things that you mentioned something, I don't know that I did a good job of explaining it, but in terms of the hope that we have the encouragement that we have in light of everything that is potentially coming soon um you know the hope of that is that christ is is going to um put all these things right but we cannot give the church a false hope that's something we can't do in christian discipleship we cannot tell the church because a Planned Parenthood institution was closed down, that that is somehow evidence of Jesus subjecting all things under his feet or, 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 or that he will, uh, you know, put all of his enemies under his feet. That is not a clear indication of that. And, and if we start teaching the church to view the supremacy, authority, and lordship of Christ that Paul is talking about here, if we start training the church to look at these things through the lens of our geopolitical developments, I think we undermine the totality of the Christian hope 